good morning. Let's take a trip together. In my metaphorical backyard, there is a fence. It's a tall fence, but I'm pretty strong and I've spent most of my childhood climbing up its rickety walls to pull myself to the top. In ninth grade, Avid found me, comfortably perched on top of my fence. I had a choice to make, either take the comfortable hop into my predictable, safe backyard, or take the fearful leap into the wild, into the world of the unknown. On the surface, I am an average Asian middle class student. Neither of my parents attended a US university. We may not have enough money to buy everything I want, but we have enough money to buy the necessities. I am one of the 3,128 teenagers in my average American high school. I am a walking symbol of the typical marginalized student that has the potential to fall through the cracks of our struggling educational system. I've never considered myself to fit this, um, the Asian stereotype of being super smart, but passing my classes was never a struggle. Lost with no direction, confused, smart but unmotivated were the perfect words to describe freshman Jamie France walking into her first day of AVID. Before this moment, I never realized how much AVID would, would truly become the factor motivating who I am today. Anyone who knows me now could tell you everything I do and say is about school. Whether it's where I want to go, what I want to be, or what exactly I'm going to do to achieve my goal, there is nothing that will deter me from my vision. I believe every student deserves to feel special and have an education that challenges and inspires, encourages and motivates us to get somewhere in life. And that is what AVID has given to me. So if you ask me how AVID has helped me academically, I could tell you plenty of different ways. Whether it was Mrs. Kirk in ninth grade showing us how to do tutorials, and believe me, if she can get a freshman to like tutorials, she must have been doing something right. <laughs> Mrs. Osborne in 10th grade, encouraging us to read books to little children for community service hours. Or my nerdy college math tutor, who helped me as I struggled through my pre-calculus class. Anyone who walks into our classroom can see that AVID ensures that we are staying focused academically, setting high goals for achievement, and giving back to our communities. It's not only academics, though. It's the personal push for success that AVID provides that makes me feel like more than a drop in the bucket. Sophomore year, Mrs. Osborne passed out report cards saying, A B on roll is not necessarily something to celebrate. For every B you get, you can take $1,000 out of your pocket because that's what makes the difference between a full ride through college and paying your way. There are not that many teachers that give you this harsh reality. We know as AVID students, these teachers truly care about us. As my high school career progressed, AVID became a greater part of my life. I figured out AVID's not about allowing a teacher to do all the work and gain all the glory. It is about empowering the students to work together to help make AVID our school greater than it already is. I believe one of the strongest decisions made at our school that has moved us forward occurred when students were asked to be a part of the site team and hold office positions. Our teachers are taking a risk by delegating authority to us, but the students were willing and excited to take part in the behind the scenes of AVID. We were, prepared, we were prepared to help take up some of the burden of holding up this college readiness system. As AVID president and a site team member, I've been able to help perfect fundraisers and community service projects, and I feel that more than ever, our faculty and student body are interconnected with a common goal, to build college readiness school-wide. And with that, we become a family. However, what AVID does for a student in the spotlight does not represent what it does for them behind the scenes. If you're sitting in the audience, and this is your first week of AVID, and you're just taking your first sip, drink it fast. <laughs> As an AVID elective teacher, your position is very clear. It is to be a role model with tough love and compassion, setting your students on the right path to, su to success, and by doing that, you won't allow us to achieve anything less than our very best. If you're a site team member, teach passionately, love your subject area, and show up to visit during tutorials. Prove that you believe in the mission of everyone achieving college readiness, because I could be one of your students, and you could be that one teacher that makes a difference. Without AVID and all the teachers who supported me, I would still be settling for the comfortable but limited view of my own backyard. Words cannot describe the gratitude that I have towards this phenomenal organization. AVID always gave me something brighter to aim for with the inspiration and determination to pursue it. I feel like society at times listens to, to the advice of Carl Sandburg who wrote, love your neighbors as yourself, but don't take down the fence. Sure, 
We're provided 13 years of education. We are loved so we can at least graduate. But the fences remain. What's it gonna take for people to understand? Programs may come and go, but if 30 plus years of avid success isn't enough for school di districts to pay attention and drink the Kool-Aid, what else will it take? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, there's only one place where we know the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, and that place is college. So I have my picnic blanket ready to lie on the green lawn of the University of Central Florida, where now, thanks to AVID, senior Jamie France achieved her dream by receiving admissions to be a business and accounting major in the fall of 2012. Here's to taking down the fences and showing this next generation this greener grass. Thank you. Thank you.